with super machine it's also possible to create images using an image to image generator this is where you upload an image and you get a new image with that original image as a guideline to do this from the super machine dashboard simply go to this image to image section here and click upload once i have chosen an image an example look at the image will appear below here you'll see that this image is a 30 year old nigerian female and i can then provide a prompt like i would do so with an ordinary text to image generation so i will put in here a photo of a nigerian female with blonde hair and i can then change how this is going to look with the advanced settings so because my original image is this portrait view i want to make sure that that is the same here i want to get four outputs of this image and you'll notice that there is a new setting here which is strength so hovering over the tooltip will tell me some information about the setting this is all about how the image that we have put as our guideline influences the image generation and the output that is going to happen it says that using a setting of 0.7 to 0.8 is generally a good place to start if you want the original image to have a greater effect on the image output you want to put the strength lower if you want it to have a more free reign to generate what it wants to generate you can put this higher so if i put this 0.8 and i hit generate let's see what happens so you'll see when we have it as 0.8 it's created these new images with our nigerian female with blonde hair now it's important to note that when you use image to image generation you're not going to get the same character out so there might be slightly different features on the face or the way that the character looks if you want to get a consistent character you can do so with other tools that are available within super machine i'll go over those in a little bit later in this video for reference if you want to skip ahead to those sections look for the super clone section or the face swap section for this specific output you'll see that these are the types of images that we've got we've got our nigerian female with the blonde hair if i was to set the strength a lot lower so let's see what happens if we set the strength to say 0.3 and then we hit generate so you can see by having the strength set to 0.3 the image hasn't actually changed much at all. Might be a little bit of a change in the lips or there might be a strand of blonde hair here or there, but it hasn't changed it enough to really make a difference. So now I just want to play around. And again, with a lot of AI image generation, it all comes down to trial and error and tweaking the settings as you go. So if I set this now to 0.5, which is in between the 0.3 where we didn't see much difference and the 0.8 where we saw a lot of difference let's see what happens so with the setting at 0.5 you can see that you're getting different details on the clothing and you're getting more of these blonde highlights in the hair but it hasn't changed the image all that much so maybe if we put it as 0 0.6 0 0.7 we may get the effect that we are after so we're just going to hit generate one more time to see if this is the case so you'll see with a setting of 0 0.7 we get even more changes to the image so because we have the blonde 
you'll see that the clothes are changing. They are becoming more blonde as well as the hair becoming more blonde. So again, with this process, it's all about trial and error on how to manipulate the images. I will show you another method using some of the control net models later in the video. So if you do want to skip ahead, feel free to do so and find the control net settings where we go over the depth, the composition and the canny models. They will show more of what is possible here but this was a little introduction into how to use image to image within super machine and we will go over how you can also use image to image using canvas in the next section of this video